Well, hello guys, I am finally in my own place here in Tokyo and it's already been about a week and a half since I arrived which is actually absolutely crazy if you think about everything, well if I think about <laughs> everything that happened. Um, but yeah, right now I'm staying in a guest house. Uh, I originally wanted to stay in an apartment but uh, kind of judging from the options that were available to me uh, before I came, uh, there was nothing that like totally jumped out at me as being amazing and they were all like pretty pricey about like $1,200, $1,300 a month for like literally the size of my room that I have in the guest house but like imagine a washroom and a tiny little kitchen in this space as well. So I'm actually really glad I went with the guest house because it was about um, three, four hundred dollars cheaper a month. I'm paying about like nine hundred ish dollars um, a month for here and I don't have to pay like extra utilities, which is great. So yeah, basically so far guest house experience is going great. Uh, the people that live here, I honestly don't even see that much, but the ones that I have seen are super nice, super chill people. Yeah, I mean, just to kind of catch you guys up on what's been happening, I mean, uh, my agency is amazing. I'm so glad I decided to go back with my manager that I had uh, three, four years ago. Um, he opened his own agency here called Schoenberg Models, so it's a contract agency, and I've really enjoyed uh, working with him and uh, my uh, other manager, Aki, who is super cool and all the girls in the agency are really nice so that's kind of like a win-win situation where everybody's just you know super professional super positive people and you can kind of just like enjoy each day going to castings and, and I actually already booked uh, my first job which is a commercial and it'll be uh, shooting this next Tuesday which I'm super excited for so hopefully more and more jobs keep rolling in and yeah it's just been amazing to kind of be back in the city to catch up with all my friends here. Like walking around Tokyo has been so amazing because just all of a sudden I'll be walking somewhere and like a memory, you know, from the past will like hit me of like, oh my god, I remember that time this happened or oh, remember we used to do this here and oh, just so many kind of <laughs> overwhelming things actually uh, that I've been kind of been taking in this past week because uh, the last time I was here there was like kind of a lot of interesting things that happened. That's just been really nice to kind of like reminisce, go down memory lane about all of that and yeah, looking forward to making some amazing new memories. So I'm going to try to upload videos um, on my channel here about two to three times a week if possible. Uh, just because I have so many topics that I want to share with you guys about, you know, being a gaijin, being a foreigner, living here in Tokyo, uh, especially in like the entertainment industry because it's so different from the North American market. So many things to share with you guys, but first and foremost, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little sort of tour of my room if you are ever thinking of coming to Tokyo. Like I said, I would highly recommend this guest house option. This is my room. It's a little bit uh, crazy looking because I do have so much stuff and this is just the best way that I found to arrange everything. But basically I have a dresser that I have <laughs> so much stuff on for all my beauty products and stuff like that. I have my vision board that I brought all the way uh, from Canada. And over here I have my workout stuff, some cleaning supplies, I've got uh, a little nice hanging closet which is really great. One tip about Japan that I did not learn until this time and I don't know how, I guess it just maybe depends on like the season that you come in, but since Japan is like a uh, super humid country, make sure you always leave like a little crack or something in your drawers if you have clothes in there or like preferably hang up your clothes because sometimes if they don't have any air, they will begin to mold. <laughs> and then over here we have my worst nemesis <laughs> and best friend at the same time, which is the heater slash air conditioner. But the reason it is my nemesis is because of this thing. I have no idea if like somebody didn't show me how the fuck to work with this. Like <laughs> I was in that other apartment and I had no idea how to work it. Thank God it wasn't cold because all these random buttons, I try so many different things, nothing works. So thankfully somebody showed me how to use it and now I basically <laughs> have a grip on it. But yeah, over here we have a wonderful balcony, which I'll take you guys out on a, in a second. 
we have my bed which is actually super comfy and then this is really nice where I kind of have like a coat rack or slash purse rack that I have made it into we have the balcony and it's actually really interesting I'm kind of living in between um, Hiro and Ebisu if anybody knows where that is and this is like a really residential area so we have like some houses over here we have an apartment complex this is our garden for the guest house here which is actually really nice we even have like a barbecue if you can see and then over here we have a tree of my absolutely favorite fruit so I'm going to probably steal them all once they're ripe which is uh, persimmons or I don't even know how to say them persimmons persimmons whatever they're called but yeah the orange fruit that looks like a tomato which is absolutely delicious let's give you guys a little tour of the rest of the guest house just so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect if you stay at one but yeah basically there's about six or seven rooms on the top floor here and uh I don't know where all the light switches are, but there's a washroom there that we all share. There's a microwave and fridge here for just like easy storing stuff, a tea kettle. And then we go down the stairs and there's two people that like have rooms downstairs here. So in total, it's only like less than 10 rooms or so. We have our boot rack over here. And then we get into the common area here and this is actually really nice because like that's the thing about japanese apartments it's like they're so small you have like no living space and they can't even really give you that much stuff for your kitchen because where the heck are you gonna put it all so over here we have two big fridges and it's actually kind of nice because nobody even like really puts like labels on their stuff everybody's just been like really good about just not taking <laughs> what's not yours and then we have a shelf for pantry kind of stuff we have a whole bunch of uh, dishes and appliances that i have no idea how to use <laughs> i have to have somebody teach me how to use it because it's like i really want to use the rice cooker but i have no idea how to use it so i'm wondering if maybe there's like an app on your phone that you can maybe like scan kanji and then it can tell me like what it is because i don't want to have to like go bother people every time i want to use an appliance but yeah that is going to be an interesting challenge for me and then yeah over here we have the garden which is actually really nice and there's a really cute cat that lives there and i've been trying to make friends with him but he's been ignoring me yeah, here is the garden super cute super nice very rare in japan and then yeah like i said we have a barbecue even and we have a washing machine which is thankfully super easy to use alina friendly you just put in your money close the lid and you're all good to go but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are coming to tokyo maybe you will consider to stay in a guest house because like i said i highly recommend it definitely a fantastic option if you're staying here for at least a month or so way cheaper than a hostel and you get your own room which is really nice but yeah i'm super excited to show you guys tokyo to kind of give you the inside scoop of what it's like being a gaijin model actress living here in tokyo so i'm sure lots of amazing adventures are yet to come so hopefully you guys will tune in next time but until then i hope you're having a splendid day keep being your own kind of beautiful and i will see you soon bye guys